As you can see, I got a table full of GoPro swag, including all of my boxing and everything from my GoPro Hero 6 Black, which has been an outstanding camera and a camera I'm going to continue to use. This is just going to really, really expand my possibilities. Now I can be simultaneously doing skateboard video or video out in the ocean or flying the drone and video on my body. So without any further ado, let's get rolling. <laughs> so here's the box, a little bit tattered, a little bit beat up from shipping. No worries. I just ripped off some labels to protect the names of the innocent. We've got Sticky here. He's gonna do the honors of ripping this thing open and let's tear it up. And here we go. And here she is, GoPro Hero 7 Black, all hermetically sealed in plastic. I've actually kept the packaging from the last one, so this one will go in my collection as well. So there it is, the GoPro Hero 7 Black in all its glory. Looking at the camera just on the outside, I've seen, of course, the camera on video and numerous pictures and articles and things. But yeah, I really like the new black color. The actual body of the camera is black now. Doesn't look like a camera that was black and then faded in the sun like my Hero 6 does already. No cosmetic differences other than the coloration. And so let's get into the box. Looking really nice. Go ahead and take it out of the frame. I like how they put this black seven accent on the frame itself, not just on the camera body. That's really cool. Put that off to the side. There she is. Same exact body, same form factor as the previous generations of the Hero 5 and Hero 6 black. Just got a really nice nice look to it now with the black coloration same battery door on the bottom open that up no battery in there presently so we'll look for that in the box of course also slot for the micro sd card this is still waterproof right out of the box just as you see it once it's all closed up and the access doors are closed up waterproof down to 10 meters or 33 feet which is one of the huge selling points because I use this camera in the water a lot, whether it be the pool, whether it be at the beach, snorkeling, all that kind of stuff. So it is just nice to know. I've even been on long tail boats cruising across the Gulf of Thailand and just took the selfie stick with the GoPro on the end of it, stuck it down in the water just to see what's going on down there. So it's just great to have that capability. And when you're out in the rain, you get caught in the rain a lot when you're in Southeast Asia. It's just great to know that you're not gonna have to worry about rushing to put your camera away and hide it. Well, let's go ahead and get into the rest of the box here. So there it is. That's everything that comes in the retail package. The Hero 7 Black, the frame, two different base piece mounts, battery of course, GoPro stickers, some cards, instruction manual, and a USB to USB-C cable. On the side of our GoPro Hero 7 Black, we have the access door where the HDMI port is, as well as the USB-C connection. And if anybody has ever had experiences where they've had difficulty removing this door, removing it's usually not that bad but when you go to put the door back on if you don't have this piece right here that's in my fingers if you don't have that slid out you're really going to have difficulty so if you have this access door pushed in too far it's not going to go back on easily another thing i found at least on my gopro hero 6 black is that if you don't have this little piece popped into place and i mean popped into place in that direction then when you go to put this door back on you will not have that resistance and you won't hear that good positive snap. And you'll be able to just push it with your finger and slide it right back off without depressing the safety release. I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that that probably means that the safety release is not engaged at all if it's like that. 
and that it could easily come open and leak in water. So be very careful with that. They are on the exact same settings, 2.7K, 24 FPS, linear, stabilization all on, on both cameras. So they're both on internal audio also, no external microphone attached. plus to see the stabilization obviously in the picture. So now we're gonna be outside, you're gonna have external noises, see which one filters out the noises better. We're also gonna do a little jogging and look crazy for all the locals and do a little walking on rough, uneven sidewalks, curves, things like that. We're going to pick it up to a jog real quick. I guess a brief jog. making no attempt to hold these steady. I'm just holding it in my hand out in front of me. So they're both doing the exact same thing. side by side, hear them side by side, I guess. What are you doing? What are you doing?